Iris T is the name of a European jointly developed air to air missile equipped with a cooled infrared homing head. Germany participated in the European project launched in 1996 together with Greece, Italy, Norway, Sweden, Spain, and Canada, it withdrew from the project. The main manufacturer is the German military company Deal. Tests of the airborne version of Iris T ended in 2002, and already in 2003 Germany and then other project participants began procurement for their air forces. Iris T guided missiles are carried by such fighters as the Eurofire, F-16, EF-18, Tornado, and Saab Gripen. They can fend off airplanes, helicopters, and other missiles. The missile consists of five modules, electronic equipment, cooling system, guidance system, warhead and engine with controls and fuses. The cost of the Iris T air-launched missile is about 350,000 euros. Its approximate analog, the American AIM-9X missile, costs about $600,000. From the design work, it was envisaged to modernize the missile to use it from ground-based launch stations. Due to the fact that the launch here must be from the ground, the focus of SAM development was on increasing the range. In the end, manufacturer Deal developed three launch system options, Iris T SLS, short range air defense system, up to 12 km, Iris T SLM, medium range air defense system, up to 40 km, Iris T SLX, a long range air defense system being developed from 2021. The SLS and SLM were introduced in 2014. Sweden was the first to receive the installations, followed by Norway in 2019. It was about short-range air defense. Ukraine was supplied with a medium-range complex. It was formally adopted for service in Germany in 2017, although so far there have been no real deliveries to the Bundeswehr yet. The manufacturers are still working on the modification of the long-range air defense system. Deal has presented this system many times at international exhibitions this year. The Iris T SLM is Germany's most advanced air defense system. It is designed to destroy airplanes, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, crews and ballistic missiles. The system consists of three main elements, a launcher on a man SX-45, 8x8, truck chassis with space for eight missiles, a radar system and a control vehicle. The launchers can be transported on tracked platforms or trucks, not necessarily those provided by the manufacturer. In addition, the system can receive data from both the included radars and other radar systems. The Iris T SLM system is characterized by a more powerful version of the Iris T anti aircraft guided missiles. These missiles can engage targets at a range of up to 40 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 20 kilometers. The missiles have better maneuverability due to the solid propellant engine with controlled thrust vector. The infrared homing head has a high degree of protection against passive and active countermeasures. In other words, infrared homing is practically heat-seeking. However, the missile's smart homing system is capable of memorizing images and comparing them with data from memory. This allows Iris T to distinguish between a genuine target and heat traps. The missile itself emits nothing and does not show its presence until it hits the target. Another significant advantage is that the system can destroy multiple targets simultaneously. Fully loaded all three launchers of the system have 24 missiles, so theoretically the complex is capable of hitting 24 targets simultaneously. The SAM is capable of covering an area of 196,000 square kilometers or a strip of 175 kilometers. Iris T SLM Technical Characteristics Missiles in the Launcher, 8, Instrumental Range of Target Detection, 250 km, Target Detection Altitude, 40 km, Target Acquisition Range, 120 km, Airplane, 60 km, Cruise Missile, Viewing Angle, 100 degrees in Fixed Position, 360 degrees when rotating, Maximum Target Engagement Range, 40 km, Maximum Height of Target Impression, 20 km, missile flight speed, 1,020 m per second or 3,672 km per hour, mass of the missile warhead, 
11.4 kg. Dennis Smazny, Chief Specialist of the Anti-Aircraft Missile Forces Training Department of the AFU Command, noted that thanks to the sensitive radar Iris-T is designed to greatly facilitate the work of countering such missiles as the KH-22 or KH-101. They fly very low and are built on low observable technology, so the air defense equipment and radars in service with the AFU previously did not see these missiles very well. At the same time, Iris-T alone is not enough to protect the Ukrainian skies, especially against threats such as ballistic missiles. The most anti-aircraft guided missile of the Iris-T complex weighs only 130 kilograms, while the Iskander or Kinzho only have a warhead of 500, it's like driving a car through a swarm of insects, the driver won't even notice it, Denis Smazny emphasized. Consequently, Iris T SLM is unlikely to be effective against caliber or supersonic cruise missiles, but it can hardly counter ballistic missiles. The problem of intercepting ballistic targets also lies in the fact that such a missile flies almost vertically from top to bottom, with a very high speed, up to 2,700 km per hour. The Iris T SLM's range, which reaches 20 km in altitude, the missile will overcome in 26 seconds. By comparison, the Caliber cruise missile will be vulnerable six times longer, for 2.7 minutes. In addition, the SAMs were designed not for defense against ballistic missiles, in its area of responsibility Iris T SLM effectively defeats airplanes and cruise missiles. According to Dennis Smazny, it is possible to effectively counter such threats as ballistic missiles by building an effective multi-layer missile defense system that includes Iris-T, NASAMS, and Patriot.